What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Izzy. This is Chris. And we are on to part four of our honeymoon through final Europe. Stop. The final stop. We landed in Santorini last night um, pretty late, so we couldn't really see much. And the view is absolutely stunning when we woke up this morning. We had a little bit of a sleep in, um, and we're so excited to explore this stunning island because neither of us have ever been to Greece before. So the area we're staying in is called Amirovigli, which is like kind of in between Ia and the Fira, and it's a lot quieter, which is why we picked it, apparently. So we're just walking, going for like a little stroll now into Fira, just to go check it out, get a lay of the land and get some steps in. Okay, we found a cafe and we're trying Greek coffee. Try it. What does it taste like? That was a new experience for us, Greek coffee. So basically what we've learned from this experience is Greek coffee is basically unfiltered coffee. <laughs> Greeks are a little bit... <laughs> They're crazy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, the coffee, like, at the, the first few sips, it was so grainy. I was The texture was just not doing it for me. But then once it settled all to the bottom, it was way better and adding a little bit of sugar made a big difference too but we were just cracking up chris said that my face every time i took a sip was just not well <laughs> we spotted that little spot that did gyros and greek salad and all kinds of yummy stuff so we popped in and we got the goods having my first greek salad we are just walking back down to our villa down 800 stairs home sweet home just got changed into, I can't really see in this light, but it's like this cute little floral print bikini. And Chris is gonna be watching, he has some kind of rugby game he wants to watch, so he's watching it literally out here. Some fun game, state of origin. Oh, I'm so sorry. So he's gonna be watching it here. I'm gonna eat my Greek salad, and then I'm gonna go head over to the pool over there and chill out. I just managed to snag the best seat in the house. It is Greek salad time. I love that they give you like a massive chunk of feta here. This whole thing was 10 euros and it's huge. just ordered a cocktail from the pool bar it's called an exotic spritz and it has like mango soda in it and prosecco i think it's very tasty i had to put my umbrella down because i thought it was gonna literally fly off the cliff people weren't joking about santorini winds sun safety all right i had such a nice morning at the pool i just changed into this little cute outfit i've been so excited to wear this trip we're on like day 20 of our trip no day 15 of our trip and i've been hanging on to this one for Greece and I'm wearing, excuse my mess, but I'm wearing these really cute little like wedge platforms with it. It feels very Mamma Mia. Um, and I think we're gonna go, Chris just went to go rent um, an ATV because that's like one of the best ways to get around the island. So we're gonna rent that for the next few days and I think we're gonna head to a winery. All right, here's our little rad for the next few days. She's big. <laughs> All right, we're doing a wine flight. We have eight different wines here, and then we got this stunning little charcuterie mix, and it all came out in like five minutes. All right, that was so lovely. Such a nice way to spend an afternoon. 
wine was yummy, snacks were even yummier, and um, we're gonna head back to our hotel now. That place was called Santo Winery, by the way. I saw it on, I feel like I came across it on Instagram somehow, and I was like, that's where I wanna go, but there's lots of wineries in this area as well. And the grapes that we tasted are native to Santorini. First Santorini sunset. Oh. Izzy's up shooting somewhere. This is beautiful though. Hook in, mate. Sorry, I was working. <laughs> Inside out. Inside out. And they were on backwards too, but I fixed them. You rats got into that too. <laughs> it's just stressed. Alright, it chilled off a little bit with the wind and stuff once the sun went down, so I'm changing back into... If you've watched all the other vlogs from this trip, you've seen me wear this outfit like four different times. It's my comfiest sweater and this, these linen pants from Abercrombie that are the best. Um, and we're just going to go out for dinner now. And one of our friends from Australia is here too. We weren't expecting her here today. We're doing a day trip to EOS tomorrow and she's gonna be there. So we were planning to meet up with her then, but she messaged me today and she's here. So we're gonna go meet her for dinner. One more for the sunset because I cannot get over the fact that this place is real. Actually wild. We had such a nice visit with our friends. I took no footage except for of our food, which was delish. Since I didn't get my one last pasta in Italy yesterday, um, I just had Greek pasta. It had like feta and olives and capers in it. It was delicious. And Chris had his lamb shank, which he was just saying. It was delicious, it was but he didn't give me a bite. He didn't let me try it. Well, That's the okay. waiter said, Oh yeah. <laughs> but I think it was just the gravy. Oh, it had gluten, okay. But um, yeah, we're just walking back now. And they gave us like a digestive drink um, after dinner on the house. And it was supposed to be like Greek tequila. Um, and it kind of tasted like a mix between like schnapps and tequila. And vodka. Yeah, and I, I feel like it gave me, <laughs> my nose is like clogging now. <laughs> but it was, I actually didn't mind it towards the end, but I, I feel, <laughs> Easy. All right, we're ready for bed, and we just took some melatonin spray so we can go straight to sleep because it was hard to fall asleep last night with the time change from Italy, which was only an hour, but it just made it harder to fall asleep. We are heading to Eos tomorrow for a day trip. We're our ferry is at nine in the morning, so we're getting up pretty early to head down there because we have to be there an hour beforehand to get our tickets, apparently, which is silly, but whatever. Um, and then we're coming back at like 7 p.m. tomorrow, so we're spending the whole day there, which will be really fun and cool to see another island while we're here. And then on Friday, we're finally going to go into Ia and see like the iconic town itself because we still haven't been there, but getting up early, so we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, you guys. As promised, we're up really early to go catch our ferry to Eos for the day. It's actually so pretty at this time of day. The sun hasn't come up over that direction yet. It's nice and calm. Great, we made it to the port. We got our tickets. We're just having a little coffee before we get on the ferry. Things have escalated. Made it to Eos. Okay, we just walked from the port to like the main little town area of Eos. We're just walking around trying to find a little spot to have coffee and maybe some breakfast. Um, it's a bit of a steep walk up here. Like it's not too long. It was only like 10, 15 minutes, but it's quite steep and it's sweaty. Found a little breakfast spot. The orange juice here is so good. Like look at the color. It's real good orange juice, fresh squeezed. Greek salad, hell yeah. Okay, we had a yummy breakfast. That place was called Blue Bar, I think. Yeah. Eos, Blue Bar. Sorry, it's noisy. Yeah, it was really inexpensive and the food was really fresh and delicious. Um, and now we're just walking to find a beach and potentially spend the rest of the afternoon at a beach club. And 
And there's the beach we're headed to. Looks pretty nice. All right, we picked around a beach club and we're sticking here for the next few hours. Such service. Nope. Let's not rub it in. Okay, we had such a nice afternoon at the beach slash yeah afternoon um and our friend taylor from last night she just came and met up with us and we're gonna go check out this different beach club for the next i guess hour and a half before we have to head back to the ferry but it's just been such a relaxing day I've, like not sure about any content for instagram or anything we've just been chilling by the beach it's been great We just left the beach club. You can see the view back behind me. I've had a few sangrias. I'm a little bit drunk. <laughs> couple of sangrias. <laughs> I've had a couple. We're now we're trying to hike up this hill. There's a lot of stairs to get back to the port because we need to head back. My eyes are watering. I'm a little bit drunk. And I'm doing cardio. It's steep. Can you hold my hand? <laughs> no, you can do this. He says. I'm like panting. Oh god. Yeah, that last place we were at was called Harmony Beach Club. And at 5 p.m. we went on happy hour, so Sangria literal pitchers, which was like one person serving was five euros. I'm drunk and now I'm doing cardio and I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm dripping and we just swam in the ocean which is why my hair is soaking wet but it's like a beautiful swim spot too so definitely recommend if you're in EOS go to Harmony Beach Club. I'm dying. It's very, very steep. Holy fuck. view of the beach if Chris said if you want a shot this is a good spot it's very shows you how far up we came salad and added chicken and it's actually saving my life right now. What's yours? Very, very What'd you get? I got a Euros with... Show me. Hold it closer. Fries? Fries. Hell yeah. Always fries and a Euros. Always. Just missed the sunset, but we got a pretty little ride on our ATV. Um, my eyes are so red. I feel like I got so much salt water in them, so I just look so tired. Um, but I just got changed for dinner. I'm wearing this little fun dress with like a feather trim by Likely. Um, I can't get over my eyes. And we're not starving because we just ate on the ferry, but. Um, we're gonna just go for a little walk and see if we can find a dinner place and maybe just split. Should we just split a main? Yeah. Yeah, split a main. Probably no more drinks for me though. I'm finally sober now. <laughs> and I think I just need to have a lot of water this evening. Otis, you named it. Always oh, cute. We ended up coming to the same one as last night. So we're back and all of the staff recognized us and I'm embarrassed. We are not drinking booze tonight. We're drinking Coca-Cola instead. Yeah. 
All right, we decided to share two things. We're sharing a salmon pasta and this salad. It's called the caldera salad. It looks really delicious. Huge portions, holy shit. All right, we just got back from dinner. My eyes are still so red. They were literally killing me. I put some eye drops in and probably pass the fuck out. But that restaurant's really good. Obviously, we went there twice. It's called Aegean. I don't remember if I mentioned that yesterday or not. Um, and we shared salmon pasta and a salad that were both gigantic. So we're very full. So when they brought out the like Greek tequila or whatever, that's the digestive at the end. We were actually thankful for it because it helped the digestion. Um, so yeah, we're gonna literally pass out and then tomorrow we're spending the day in Ia, which we're really excited for because we both haven't seen it in person before so that's the plan for tomorrow we'll see you guys then good night good morning it is our day to go to Ia today so we are dressed and ready we slept in a little bit this morning which was just really nice and so needed um it's not supposed to be as windy today so i'm wearing my hair down pray for me but <laughs> yeah if you don't know it's super super windy in santorini pretty much all the time and yesterday was wild it was so gusty all day even in eos so um yeah hair is down this is the outfit today it's a little knit dress from meshki hopefully i don't overheat but we will we will see um we're pretty much gonna spend the entire day in ia we're gonna head over there on our quad now and have like breakfast slash lunch over there and um probably just spend like the whole day there i really want to go down to a moody bay and see that for the first time and then i think we'll stay over in ia for the sunset as well so that's kind of the plan for the day here's a better look at the dress it's like a full length maxi knit dress in this like pretty like, icy blue color i really like this one all right we made it we're in ia the road was very windy and it was windy on the back side of the island and i was a little bit freaked out but it's all right we made it we found parking thankfully and we're just gonna walk around and check it out for a little bit We decided to be pretty basic with our lunch and get another gyro and I got another Greek salad just on the go. Gyro, sorry. Sorry, my pronunciation. This is so heavy, like it looks so good. Alright, we made the decision to go down to a Moody Bay. It is freaking steep. I'm wearing like platform sandals, not the vibe. You need like hiking shoes for this, but I've only slept once, but I haven't eaten it yet. And um, there's donkey poo everywhere, so I hope we get to see some donkeys. This is the road. Found all the donkeys. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. They're so sweet. We made it all the way down. This is a Moody Bay. And look at what I see. Octopuses. We just walked around the corner from Moody Bay and found this cool cliff jumping spot. The water looks so nice. We might have a little swim. Okay, we're down in a Moody Bay still, but I wanted to show you if you've watched the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants and were obsessed with it when you were younger, like I was. This is the dock where the scene was filmed, where Lena falls in the water. This is it right here where she falls in, and then Kostas rescues her. You're welcome, I know you needed that bit of history. What was the movie? Sister out of the Traveling Pants. You haven't seen it? That's too bad. We can watch it tonight. <laughs> I'll probably pass. <laughs> oh man. It's just so pretty here, it looks like a storybook. All right, here comes the part we were dreading. We have to walk back up all 9,000 of the stairs. Pray for us, me and this knit. Maxi dress, so warm, but whatever. We're going all the way up there. Back up to the donkeys. This one remembered Chris from earlier. Hi, buddy. They're so cute. We literally could not have picked a worse time of day to do this climb. I had to tie up my hair. Literally, sweat is dripping down my face. It's so hot, there's not a stitch of wind. Chris has his heart rate monitor on, and it's at 162. That's high. <laughs> Oh my god, it's slippery now. Oh my god, we just stopped in the shade. I don't know if you can see the sweat dripping down. I like cannot cool down in this thing. And I have salt water in my eyes again, I think. I'm so sweaty. Oh my god, this is disgusting. I 
All right, we've somewhat recovered and stopped sweating. Um, and we're gonna go try to find some frozen yogurt now, I think. We saw a place earlier and now we're both craving it. And we'll also probably need a big bottle of water. We need to replenish our hydration. Whoa. Is that good? Yeah. That's enough? Yeah. <laughs> some strawberry? Yeah, it'll be there. Yep. Got the goods, got some fruit in there, some pistachios. Looks so yummy. We found a nice spot to have an early dinner. We're gonna try to head back to our hood for sunset, just because it's a little bit less busy and crazy. And we actually think the sunsets are better from where we're seeing, so we're gonna go back there, but let me show you our view. All right, we're trying two very traditional Greek dishes. This is shrimp saganaki, and this is moussaka. We're gonna share, and they both look so yummy. Okay, that restaurant was called Lotza, and all the staff was so friendly, and the food was really good. It felt like traditional Greek food where you're like eating in someone's kitchen. It was really yummy, and the view was beautiful too. And it was actually not, like the prices weren't crazy in there either, which was nice. For Ia, anyway. <laughs> All right, we're back at our little ATV. We decided we're gonna head back to our place for sunset. Even though the sunset looks like it's gonna be absolutely stunning here, it's just so busy and so crazy, and it's gonna be really hard to find a spot to watch the sunset. Whereas, like, we literally have a sunset view from our balcony. So, I think we're just gonna go back there and maybe have a cocktail on the patio, watch the sunset at our. All right, back from Ia. Fast forward a little bit, change into this outfit. I think it's my favorite outfit from our entire honeymoon so far. I love it. This top's from Area. I'm borrowing it from Forward. The skirt is House of CB. Um, and then I have my little white jack in this bag with it. Chris just shot some photos for me because he's the best. And now he's ignoring me while he's watching the sunset. But it's another like perfect Santorini sunset, so I'm gonna sit down and chill now. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I was just saying to Chris, I can't get over how long the sunsets last year. Like it's 9.01 right now. I think the sun set at like 8.35. Look at it. It's wild. It's crazy. Also you guys, I can't remember if I mentioned um, where we're staying or not, but it's called Andromeda Villas and we're, we've been super happy with it. The location's great. You can walk to Fira in like under 20 minutes along like the pass. That's where we've been going for dinner. Every night is in Fira. And it took us only like 20 minutes to ride our ATV over to Ia today. So it's like the best, I feel like, because it's right in the middle of everything. You're close to the airport, you're close to the ferry terminal, but like you're close to Ia if you want to go in. It's very busy and like touristy, whereas like here it's just like quieter, calmer. But like the resort's been so, so great. We love it. Right, the sun just went down finally it's like after 9 30 and it's finally dark outside which is crazy but one thing i will say if you're coming to santorini it wasn't windy today which was so nice but it chills off so much at night we were just saying like chris was like shivering when we were sitting out there so make sure you pack a sweater if you come because shivering is an exaggeration but you, I had a shiver. he had one shiver that just like went through his whole body and i was like are you okay and he's like yeah it's cold and i was like yeah i am chilly too make sure you pack a sweater that's the moral of the story here Oh my god, you guys, we fucked up. We just went to go get, like, we already had dinner, but it was really early. Like, we ate it, like, five hours ago, so we were like, let's go get maybe, like, a little bit of food to share. Um, we ordered enough food to feed a family of seven. Like, oh my god. We got, this Greek salad's huge. It was only seven euros, but it's massive. And then this meat platter is gonna give us the meat sweats if we eat even half of it. That's wild. Chris also found a passion fruit flavored Fanta at the store, so we're gonna try it. We went into this little store. I should have filmed in there, but I didn't. Um, it was this little like, convenience store slash wine store, but they literally had everything you could possibly think of. They had like the most exotic chip flavors, like what they had like camembert. Yeah. And like prosciutto and blue cheese. What else? There was another one that was wild. Pesto oh yeah, there was like a pesto flavor chip. We should have got them, but they were really expensive. And they had like olives and all this amazing stuff. I could have spent hours in there, honestly. But I'm excited to try this passion fruit Fanta. What are you trying first? I had some of that sausage is pretty damn good. Yeah. This is from Jimmy's, by the way. And is it in Amiroviglia or is it in 
Sphera, yeah, technically. Yeah, it's like in between the two, so we got me. Good morning, you guys. It is officially our last day in Greece. We are headed to the airport shortly. We've just been hanging out by the pool for the last little bit. We packed up and checked out this morning, um, and sadly, it is time to head home. One last look at this stunning view. I'm sad, I don't wanna leave. All right, so we actually just got to London. We're spending the night here on our way back to Vancouver because this is the end of the trip for us, but we wanted to quickly jump on and wrap up Greece for you guys. We absolutely loved it. Lovely. Santorini was amazing. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lovely, is what I said. Uh, um, we definitely want to go back and explore more islands. We love Santorini and definitely want to go back there, I think. Um, again, we were super happy with where we decided to stay. And if there's any like names of places we went or anything that we forgot to mention, just leave a comment and I will respond to you and let you know. But I hope this vlog was helpful if you are planning to travel to Santorini or Eos um, sometime in the near future. Make sure you subscribe because if you haven't watched all of the other three videos from our honeymoon, we've been traveling for like three weeks now. So there's lots of good content for you to check out. We went to Rome. We went to Malfi Coast, we went to Puglia, where else? P Portugal? <laughs> we went yeah. to Portugal. Go check those out as well. And we will see you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out with us on our honeymoon. See you later. Bye.